guys this is Stalia. welcome back to my channel um this is a crafty uh cross stitch the um channel um uh, it's been 10 months since i post video here and it's been 10 months since i cross stitch i haven't cross stitch at the beginning of the year things got tough and um i stopped around february and I've been meaning to start again, but you know, life gets in the way. I had to work two jobs and things was a little hectic and my hair has static. So, um, so I have not cross stitched since then. I picked it up again on December 24th, January. Today I'm filming this video today on Christmas. So Merry Christmas to all, if you celebrate um so i picked it up yesterday again because i was just sitting there and i said i should start something and i did um pick up something and um started it and i am was done but today's video is about the end of the year whip parade i have not done a whip parade in this channel because um i didn't know where all my whips were but I found them. I'm still got. I still have a gap in here and there. But I think is uh, I got some pieces that got messed up, and I got one one piece that I put away, but I can't find the fabric. Um, so I'll let you know which one uh, that one because I I still have it as a whip, but it's that I wanted to restart it. So I took away the fabric. I don't know what I did to it. Um, yeah. So um. So yeah, I have not been stitching. I do miss it. I enjoyed yesterday. I stitched from 2 p.m. yesterday until midnight. And I didn't finish what I wanted to finish. So um, I will share that first before I do my whip parade. Um, I don't count that as a whip because it's going to be a finish. It has to be finished um, before January. So I don't count that as a whip because it's a small so i try not to count the smalls as a whip because i'm going to finish them if i want to do a pillow or something so um so yeah so i'm gonna share with you guys what i did um i am very into the chinese culture i do follow a lot of chinese um actors and singers and stuff like that so the chinese new year is this year in 2023 is going to be in January 22nd, I did started a piece last year for last year Chinese piece, um, New Year, I never finished. I don't know if I'm gonna finish, that's in my, I don't know what's gonna happen with whip. So, but this year, 2023 is the year of the rabbit. Uh, I am a monkey in the Chinese uh, horoscope. So my year will be on 2028. But I wanted to do the um, a little pillow with a year of the rabbit so i went i went to etsy and bought a beautiful pattern but when i downloaded it that thing was humongous and it's a full coverage that's not what i'm looking for i wanted a uh a, a, a small one i couldn't find nothing in etsy so i went to um i went to the daily cross stitch uh, website and um and got myself a a little pattern i'll show you right now because i, I it's a combination of what i'm doing um combination of patterns to um to get what i want this is the first one that i bought it that i bought at etsy it's beautiful i thought that was um a small one even if i do it in a red fabric that i'm doing right now is still gonna be too big that's not what i was looking for it's beautiful i love it maybe i do it and do it as a bigger pillow i don't know so that was one of them it was a package that i bought they had three and that and this thing has um this one it has almost 200 colors that's not what i'm looking for i was looking for something quick and simple so this is the other one it's still big so but from this one i'm gonna copy just the symbol and i'm just gonna do the white part because the fabric that i'm using is red 
and this is just the Chinese New Year symbol. So I, is either that or the rabbit. I gotta read the instruction. So um, I wanna do that. I'm gonna add that. So, and this is another one, but they are huge. They all have over 80 something colors. That's not what I want. I wanted something simple with one or two um, colors in it. So I went to that, uh, let's see, because it was four. I don't see what the other one is. It was four patterns and it was a package that I bought. I think it was like $4. And it had all those, um, it's another one, but I, I think I didn't download it. So I went to that website that I think I'm just gonna show you the part. Oh, I had the pattern here. So I went there and I purchased for a dollar. I purchased, let me see. I purchased this um this little pattern. It's still the year of the rabbit. Um, but I think it's too plain. So I also gonna add the 2023 not the not the top that says have a great 2023 i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna add that just the 2023 with the banner and then um on around this corner right here i will put the chinese symbol so i started that yesterday and this is what i have so far so it's almost done um, because all I had to do is the lantern here, the la another lantern here, and then put the Chinese symbol right here. The 23 is only, the two is only missing one road, and I'm done. And then I got to do the, the yellow banner. And it's done. And then I'm going to do a little pearl. The fabric that I'm using is a 14 count Ada in red that, um, that I purchased uh michael long time ago it's been in my stash for a while i picked my own colors because the colors for this planner they were red and yellow yet and yellow and yet yellow and red but i wanted the 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 rabbit and some of the lantern, lantern to have gold because gold is a very prominent color in china and red red and gold is signify prosperity, um, happiness. So I wanted to do it with those color. So I gonna, I'm using Victoria Moto. So I'm using the Heirloom Sunflower. That's the color that I use for the rabbit. Uh, I'm using Hello Tulip. It's another yellowish gold color. That's the one that I put and the inside uh the ear of the bunny and it's gonna be the banner is gonna be um this color and then the shadow is gonna be in this one and then um the lantern is gonna be uh one of them is gonna be um this gray with with the the sunflower cut it's, it's more like gold rustic gold so that and then i use blank and white and black for uh white is going to be for the symbol and part of the lantern so that is what i picked up yesterday i i'm happy how far it is um i want to have it done display that my house on uh, the day that new uh, new year's um chinese new year which is january 22nd so i think i will finish it by the end of this year uh this month um i will finish it i'm gonna work on it tonight that's gonna i'm gonna work on it tonight finish the two and do the 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 banner so it's gonna be finished i will show it finished when i do my first um floss tube in the next on um, the beginning of the year so but yeah that's what i after 10 months this is what i'm doing but i've been itching to get back into it but since um i stopped doing videos in february and since march to november i worked two jobs so i really didn't have time i was exhausted i was tired all the time i didn't have the time so and i do what i do want to get back to it but you know life gets in the way sometimes and we just gotta pause for a minute 
take um deal with the problem that you have at that moment and put everything on hold until you resolve that and then now that i'm not doing that no more so i'm able to get back into my hobbies because it's more than one hobby that i have so yeah so that's all i've been working i started it yesterday and it should be finished by next week but i will show you the finished product of my first floss tube of the year so today we're going to do a, uh, a recap of my 2022 even though they i did not and then we're going to do a whip parade this is one box and this is another one box so this one is pretty 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 full as you can see and then um we're gonna I show you everything i have i have a total of 78 whips actually 76 because i had two numbers that are in between but like i had them all labeled by number i am not gonna redate all of them so what i'm gonna do whenever i start something new is gonna go in those numbers that are empty those are either a, a fabric that got messed up and i throw it away or i don't know what happened to it so i think i had two blank which is number 15 uh, I think. I'm not sure. I try to get it organized as much as I could. So I got number 15. Uh, and number 58. So I wasn't going to redate all those. Uh, the, do the list again. So I just said whatever. I start something new. I insert it. And if I'm going to put it as a whip. Like I said. like The ones that I know that I'm doing little pillows. Smalls. I don't. If I know that I'm going to do them within a day or two, I don't put them as a whip. I put the big stuff. So, yeah. So, I have 78, 76. 76 whips. I think I have them organized as I, they should go in order. I don't know about that. We'll see. But let me give you a recap of the year 2022. So in 2022, I started the year with 69, 69 whips that I've been carrying since 2018 that I started. I did not stitch 2019. I started a whole bunch in 2020. I didn't stitch on 2021. And I started um, some on 2022, even though I did not stitch the whole year. I love starting. I am planning to start as much as I can this year. My goal is to have every single pattern that I own as a whip. It could be 200, it could be 300 whips. I do not care. I am going to have everything as a whip at some point. Right now, I'm, I, don't, I only have 76. But in plans, I'm going to tell you something that I'm planning to do on 2023. So anyway, so my year in review. So I started the, the year with 69 whips carrying since 2018 over here. I had 12 new starts in January and February. I touched six of my, of, of my old whips. So, um... I touch only six of my of my old whips. Uh, I didn't touch the 69s. Uh, no, that's wrong. 63. So I had 69. So I touched six. So I um trying to find a pencil. So I um me and Math and my best friend. And so I didn't touch 63 whips. Started with 69. Started 12. Touch six of the old ones. So whoops that I did not touch was 63. The total of hours I worked during 2022, which was that month, a month and a month and a week, I think, from February. It was 38 hours that I spent stitching. And those 38 hours I worked 5,794 stitches. I love to count my stitches. I it gives me, it motivates me to see. I did not count stitches for this because I was I wanted to just work on it and not worry about nothing. But I like to count my stitches. 
Uh, so I worked 5,794 stitches in 2022. I finished five. 12 of those, 12 of the new stars, five was a finish, which was little pillows that I did for Valentine. I don't have a picture with them. Uh, I don't think, so. let me see. I think I do. But, um, so yeah, it was five little Valentine, um, pillows that i did that i wanted to put in my tie in my um tiring my tire thing so let me go to my pictures and check february because it should be there just bear with me i should have had a look on that but oh yes i did so those are the five little pillows uh and it comes five because let me see oh i'm missing one Oh, I didn't finish one. I did finish five, but I didn't. Fi I didn't fully finish it. Oh, okay. So anyway, so oops. Those are the five finishes, five pillows that I did on for Valentine. I love them so much. They will be on display this year again, and I'm gonna do more. So um, this year, I, I, I share and plans. So those are my five finish of the year and my five fully finishes of the year so i think um it was good i think it was good for you know for what it is it was good so that's all my stat for the year i'm using the same planner that i print i did for last year but i showed this in plans so let's start with the whip parade this is going to be a long video so i am telling you right now it's going to be a long video because i'm going to show you every single whip i have i might have to do it in two parts because if it's over an hour it takes three days to upload <laughs> so i am gonna do it in part so in one in, in one hour increment so it could be one it could be one it could be two it could be three who knows how many parts so like i said i think they are in order this is going to be the biggest mess that i'm going to create here because i don't know where i'm going to put them once i show them um this room is still a mess i'm still working on it so let me make a little space here so i could put it on the floor <laughs> So my whip number one, this is my oldest whip, and this is the whip that I started back in 2018. Let me leave this pen here, this pencil here in case I have to roll something. I do label all my whips. I'm gonna change the labeling system, but that's a project. Right now I put a little label that has the the number of the whip, the name, the day I started it, and if I started it for an event but i it's hard for me to read it when i'm looking for it so i'm gonna change the number i'm still gonna use the same uh, tag similar to this but it's gonna have a big number and then i have a whip card inside the whip but that's a project because i have 78 whips to do that and then i have fancy bags that i create myself i have amazon bags and i have dollar tree bags so i have a little bit of everything in my thing so this is a dimension kit. This is the kit that I decided to buy when I wanted to jump into cross stitching. And I went to Walmart and purchased this. This should be done long time ago. It's gonna be finished on 2023, but it's a laundry thing. Um, at the beginning, I have a mishap with it. I had to restart it in a different count because it was my first. I didn't know much. And then I ran out of, uh, of flaws. And because these had dimension flaws, I couldn't find it. So I had to find uh, equivalents or a DMC, the closest that I could get. But anyway, so it's, I say that it's, it's, it's advanced. And I don't have a it's advanced um so i hope that i could finish it this year as you can see it's mainly it's a little bit of the basket that i'm missing and i still gotta 
feel this no that stay like that this is the sack i gotta do the toes and the uh, and the thing right here finish this side of the basket and then all i gotta do is the letters the letters are backstitch so they are easy to do my goal in 2023 is to finish this um i do want to start a lot but i do want to finish too so so that and the colors that i'm using is the colors from the kit and then i had to find two dmc to coordinate with what i uh the ones that i ran out of so that was my whip number one it's trying to keep them in order that's number one this is my whip number two even though that i name is i named something else number two let me see yeah so it's a little out of order but i'm gonna keep it i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep this one as a number two because this is something i'm gonna work this was my whip number two i um i oof, ufo her um i don't i think i throw away the fabric i don't remember i don't know where it's at um uh, i want to start her again she is full coverage she gave me so much headache that i decide that i mean i had to start her like four times and then i got frustrated with it and um i said you know what i'm working with this pattern no more i you feel the fabric i throw it away um so but i want to restart her she is beautiful she is a so beautiful her name is serene and this is a etsy pattern that i bought from irish in love design and etsy she is beautiful i love her and i want to do her so i am going to start her sometime this year next year the 20, 2023 i don't know when um but she's going to be restarting and maybe this time she will give me that much headache but then again this is just when i just started cross stitch i went walmart bought this pattern i thought that it was easy enough and i wanted more challenges so I went to Etsy and bought myself a full coverage. Brand new. I didn't know nothing about cross stitch. So that's why I think she gave me a little, um, it was a hard, hard time to deal with her. But now that I know more about it and I work full, uh, full coverage now, so I gonna restart her sometime soon. But she is not an active web. She's, she's gonna be brand new. So, um, this is an Amazon bags. Um, this is whip number two. This one, again, the fabric got damaged, so I throw it away. This is a country cottage needlework um, pattern. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I love it. Um, I, will, I had already done wonderful but the fabric got damaged so i am gonna change it and i want to get that the petite point um fabric that is there so i'm gonna make an order of one two three so i could restart it i don't know exact day when i'm gonna restart it um i think she's gonna be restart sometime i don't know when but she's my whip number two that's why i left it there because she's gonna be worked again my whip number three is a Santa hang up, which I convert all the colors of the coat. I'm doing it with pink and turquoise instead of green and green uh, green and uh, green and reds. So uh, that one is that one, and I'm doing this one in a. Uh, I don't have the fab i don't have the thing but this is a 14 count 14 count ada and oatmeal i think it is upper lesson that i got uh michael joan so hobby lobby i'm not sure and this is what i have so far only that so that is that one. I mean, all these, all these, um, 
this one has like a i gotta wash this fabric um i had them in my previous house in the basement and i had a problem with humidity there and as that's why a couple of fabric got messed up this one smell a little bit so i'm gonna wash it and then continue um put it and i'm gonna put a note right here wash fabric and once i wash it i'll continue um continue working on it so that is that so that's my whip number three my whip number four oh i didn't say when did i started this uh this one's i started it on um, my whip number two i started it in 8 15 18 and my whip number three i started it around that time 8 16 18 so that is that one my whip number three is a aliexpress christmas stocking this one right here i started this one on 2018 i don't have an exact day because sometime in 2020 i lost all my data from my ipad so i don't have exact days in some of them um uh, this is all i have for that <laughs> uh it's sometime uh it's ooh. It's somewhere at the Santa outfit. It comes with all the floss and the fabric is 14 count Ada. And that's all I have. Needle minders are made by me. I do mainly all my needle minders and all my project bags. And I do purchase a few needle minders, but the majority is made by me. So that is my whip number three. Whip number... This is whip number seven. They not in no particular order. I see it's missing six. So I tell you what it is. So this is my whip number seven. This is called Snow Street. It's, I started this one on one... On 12, 11, 18 for the 12 days of stitchments that I did on 2018. I was gonna do them this year, but then I said, nah, I'm gonna leave it for next year because I'm not prepared. So it's this right here, it's an AliExpress kit. It comes with everything. This is a full coverage. Everything is full coverage. Those, that is the same uh, thing, um, snow. It is gonna be, um, it's supposed to be French knots. I don't do French knots. I don't know how to do them. I'm going to beat it. So it's going to be white beads once I think. This is all the beautiful color. This uh, beautiful color scheme. Um, and that. And then I grid the fabric. And then um, this is all I have done. Is the fabric that came. So it's not big. It is a 18 count Ada and this is all i have this all this i got tired of the background i mean because all that all that blue all that teal it needs to be stitched so i moved to the i moved to the symbol so then i could move to start the houses and i'm gonna leave the background for last so then so i once i finish the this medallion the sun i'm gonna move to to this chimney right here and then start working on the houses so that is that again the needle minder is done by me and that is this one and i love i still love every single piece uh, i have started so um i want to continue working on them i i do want to see some finishes but i'm not like oh everything has to be finished this is an enjoyment for me. This is a hobby, a uh, very relaxing hobby for myself. So I just want to enjoy stitching them. They done what they done. And that's why I want to start all of them. 
so then my next one is number 10 so that was seven this is 10 i gotta go down through them and organize some better but well, like i've got to read number them then i do that and i put them in order so this is another aliexpress kit it's a santa's face i love this vintage santa and um the fabric is the 14 count ada that came with it and all i'm doing is the santa this is santa slip this is his lips that's his lips and then i'm starting the beer the that's i mean the brown part of the beer so that's that and then the needle minded again made by me and that's all i have for this one some of them this i work them only when i start them and um i don't know if this was one of the ones that i touched in um 2020 2022 but most of them is only um oh god it's only 31 and i only do, uh, 30 minutes and i only had done um seven whips so um yes yeah, so i only worked on that time um this is wig with uh, whip number 11 um is the christmas elf fairy it's a no recover one i started it on 12 27 18 and it was a 12 12 days of stitch my um sorry so that is the no recover miravilia um fairy and uh, this is other colors i have it in one of these um I have a whole bunch of these things so uh so this is this one has a good start this one has a very good start so i don't i, I haven't ironed them they've been in here for two three four years already so uh so yeah so that is a that's a good start that was a very good start so i'm looking forward to working her again so that was Miss L. Ferry. Uh, it, I got the beads and everything. The bag is created by me. I had different sizes of bag. I don't, I don't put fancy, uh, fancy fabric in the inside. But that's my personal preference. I rather have the, the, the cute fabric in the outside that you could appreciate more than the inside, because most of the time they are like this so that was that whip the other one is another aliexpress kit it's called cut through the no paw it's this one right here it is i started it on 12 28 18 as a 12 days of stitch mask uh this one is hard to see what i've done not much but um it's just uh it's all white stitching so again uh this is one that i think i want to restart in a darker um fabric because it does have a lot of white simulating snow and you can really tell so all i have is done is this right there you can see it right there it's not much so this one is one that i want to restart in a color fabric and i am going to put a note as i go through them i know what i want to do so um restart different color fabric so it's easy to restart because i haven't done much on it so so that is one of my whip whip number 12. Uh, whip number 13 is a cardinal cheer is an ornament from the just cross stitch uh magazine i started it on 12 29 18 for the 12 days of stitch math um it's uh is this is from the just cross stitch christmas edition 2018 i i used to subscribe to it digitally but i started the subscription in um 
now in December, so I should be getting the February, the first edition, but I, I ordered a physical. So this is one, and I'm doing it in a pink Ada, a light pink Ada, 14 counts by Swagger that I purchased at, uh, I need a car stock that i um that i purchased a uh, hobby lobby so i guess let me see i guess it's go like that i'm not sure so all i have is the house i think it's right here in the middle between the the thing that's why i started the middle and that's all i have so again fabrics made by me i like to have different sizes because like this one is so small that it would be a waste of a big fat a big um bag so that's why i like to have different size bags and this envelope style they are created by me i just swing it and i said well i want it this way so i cut the fabric how i wanted it and that's the one i, I had three three different bags i had my creation which are envelope style i had the bona pfizer um bags this is her i had her pattern she show she has a video on her channel how to do her bags i like her bags too so i do this side i do this side and i think i have like three with a with a vinyl in the front which are not my favorite i don't like them i don't know why so but i have like three that i created but not my favorite amazon bags that i have a whole bunch because i ran out of of made five, uh, one so which i had to do another order and i had to start creating because i had a lot of fabric to create this is another aliexpress kit is my whip number 14 is it number 14 it's called Christmas tree. I did it on, I started it on 12, 30, 18 for the stitch mats, for the 12 days of stitch mats. This is one. I started this in the middle, but I gonna grade the fabric and start from the, from the top. I rather stop, I, I rather start from the, from the top than from the middle. So I am gonna grade this fabric and start that. These are the beautiful colors for that. Thing. oh i did grid it already i i gritted it and i started it okay so let me show you the start what i started first this is what i started and i hope when i get to this part it, it match I and mean, it doesn't match it's easy because it's not much that i will have to frog out so then i decided to start on the top and that's it and i am not putting all those black birds i'm not putting the birds in the top the first tap is full of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven little black birds i'm not putting those so that's what i have which is a good start i didn't even realize that i have restarted it that's how long it's been since i touched these things so that is that one So that is my whip number 14 and we have 76 to go so this is going to be more than one video maybe three videos um so the next one is uh my whip number 16 15 is one of the numbers that i have blank um so this is my 16 this is my new year um new year's fairy i started her on 12 31 18 and stitch media i might stitch on her on this year um new year's eve um oh i decided to start a new one uh here i have a note that says stitch again in 14 count but this was before i have because i'm doing her in a 25 count lugana that i um purchased in 2018 and i hand dyed myself but bef when i started this i didn't have the gears that i have now so i'll be able to see i have different um magnified glasses and hand uh, hand magnifiers that i could clap that i could clap to my hoop so 
I couldn't see 25 good. So I'm not gonna restart. I'm gonna leave it here because I think this color is beautiful for the thing. I don't have nothing. This is all I have. It's embarrassing. That's all I have. They are crooked. Um, again, when I started this, I didn't have the gears that I have now. So I am gonna frog that, and she's gonna be restarted on the 31st of this month of this year. So she's gonna restart it. That day I had the the beads. I buy my I get my I use generic beads. I don't use me uh mill hill built beads. I had 20,000 beads uh, in my stash. And I just use generic beads, it's the same. And then um the colors that I'm using, it looks like I did a conversion. Let me see. It looks that I have a conversion of it's, it's it was stitching crescent crescent colors. Um but I did a conversion to um cxs or dmc and then i'm using for the wings is gonna be cotton color and cut in doesn't have a name oh monster jam it's called monster jam and then victoria moto pink princess so that's how the wings are gonna be and then her dress is still gonna be that yellow so yeah, so she's gonna be restart on on January um December thirty first, but it's still gonna be the same fabric because I'm sure I could I'll be able to work on that fa on that fabric now with the glasses that I have, and I have my my lorry stand is a lot easier, and I have gears. I, I have a, a setup. Um, the next one that I have. Oh, and and the bag was the Bona bag, and I made them myself. And then this one is uh my whip number seventeen is the Lady of the Flag. I started it on one one twenty nineteen for my New Year's star. The fabric is the it's a, a flag, American flag fabric. I created the bag, and this one I put red polka dots. Uh, that and that was at the beginning, and then I said, you know what? You don't see you don't see the the fabric, the inside fabric. So now I don't do that because I would have done a bag with this color. So that's that. <clears throat> this one I started it twice again. I am doing a white conversion that i got in the miravilia conversion facebook group uh so it's a white conversion so she looks it's gonna look stunning um the fabric that i'm using is a uh, 14 count carnival cruise it was the fabric of the month for february 2019 um yeah so this one i started in another fabric i it was a 30 it was a 16 count i didn't like the the tension so this one is all i have and i am beating as i'm going uh the other one i had started in the in the middle but this one i'm gonna work it down up. so um it's a good progress and i'm beating as i'm going the needle minder is created by me the fabric is very pretty. So that is that. I'm going to put this one in my scroll roll and keep it there. Because this one is, uh, 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 that's the lady of the flag. If you don't know which one is it. Um, I work out of um, copies. Um, what I was saying, I forgot. Oh, she's a focus piece of 2023. So she's going to be worked a lot on 2023. She's one of my focus pieces. I have a couple of focus pieces for the year. And she is one. She was a focus piece on 2022, but I didn't get to do it. So that is that one. 
Uh, the next one is uh, project number 18 is the tiny modernist um, haunted, house, haunted mansion. I started her in one one nineteen. This was of a stitch alone back in 2018. But I, I purchased it at the beginning of the thing. And this one I started it as a Halloween saw for the whole year. Then it was from when, um, when Stitch Mania was a group. It's no longer a group. It's no longer a thing. Even though people still doing it, I'm still going to continue doing it. I love the concept and I'm going to continue doing it. Even though the actual Stitch Mania group is no longer active. Again, another boner um, bag that I created. And uh, this one, uh, I don't have a color. I've been meaning to print a color a color thing. But when I printed this one, I was having problem with my printer. And so, yeah, so that is that. I don't have much done on this thing. The fabric is a 14 count Ada that I hand dye myself. So this is the fabric. This is the fabric. And this is all I have. It's big, it's a big fabric. This is all I have. It is this right here my goal for this one this year is just to frame the house frame the house and um that's what i'm planning to do that's my goal this year just to frame the house so we'll see if we get to accomplish that this year that is that it's not much done with a big piece but we'll see it's getting cold in this room. I got to turn on the little heater, but it's like I had to stop the video and get up. So when I do the second, when I stop to make it the second one, then I put the little heater because it's getting cold. And this, uh, I'm doing DMC. <coughs> Another one, Bona bag that I created myself. They not perfect, but they are perfect for me. So... And this is my web number 19 is the Queen, the Mill Hill Quill Queen and House. I started it on 1119 for Christmas sale for Stitch Mania, no longer available. So again, I don't have the color. I do have, I think, 10 or 12 that I need to do. So um, that's that one. And this is all I have done. That's all I have done. Hopefully one of them gets finished. And I'm using um, DMC. And the fabric is a 14 count Ada that I purchased at bullet.com by the yard. Uh, another one and a handy dandy Amazon bag is another um, aliexpress kit is number my web number 20 it's called calorie trees it was done on 1119 as uh, for stitch mat this is the that and all i have done the fabric is is a uh, 14 count came in the kit and that is all i have done the little um gingerbread that's all i had done and this is the beginning of the tea for christmas uh the needle minder is created by me i do keep the needle within each um project so i have a lot of needles i push them by a hundreds in the in aliexpress and that's what i use um, this is my whip number 21 is the winter house is it's a free pattern by um brooks books i had the whole the whole four season and i started the winter house for stitchmas on one 
one two twenty nineteen. I think these patterns are still available in the um, Brooks book um, website and you could get all four season. I have them and at some point I will do them all. Um, the fabric that I'm using is a 14 count Ada from the, um, I don't know, oh, okay. Um, from the birdlock.com that I website that I purchased by the yard, which I need to go and see they still have available. I need to buy more of the blue and black. So that's all I have, which is this windows right here, the frame of the windows. So that's all I have. Stitch my it's needle minder made by me. That's all I have. And the floss that I use, uh, as you, I don't keep floss in my bags, I, unless if it's a kid. Um, I have a, a full set of the SCS, which is the equivalent of DNC, but you buy them from, you buy them from China. And um, I have, actually I have three, three complete sets. And so I have one and I have two as a backup. And I have them in little bag, jewelry baggies. I don't bobby need much. So um, I have them in little baggie and I have one of those three tier cards and I have them all by number there. And when I'm stitching, I have that little card next to me and I pull the numbers as I need them. Sometimes there's a few bags in the things because I took the, the, the whip somewhere with me. My next whip is uh number 22 is a dimension kit it's a it's called winter ride i started it on 1319 for stitch mate stitch mania no um it's not stitch mania the 12 days of stitch mass that's wrong um this is the kit and this is it. The reason I have it like this is because I am doing this part. I'm not doing the barn and the animals. As of now, I'm not doing it. And if I decide to do it, I do the barn, but I don't do the animals. So, but for now, I'm just concentrating like this. I might continue it, but without the cows. I don't want to do the cows. So, if I continue, I just do the barn and the trees and eliminate the the cows i haven't started much with this one either this one i started it on the center and it's a dimension kit so it came with with the uh, thing and i am working in the tree on the trunk so that's all i have can't wait to come out again and and work on it as a matter of fact, the whip cut numbers just came out, and this is one of them. So I'll be working on it in January, and I'll see how much I could get accomplished. Um, because it's, it was the first one that came out, and my whip cut. I do a whip cut, but that's in plan. Um, so we'll see. Why is not coming? It's not getting in there. So that was my whip number 22. My whip number 24, it is a magazine um, thing. It's called Season in Chalk, the Christmas one. I started it in 1419 for the 12 days of Stishma. I think this is a Priscilla um, pattern, uh, Stitching with the Housewife. Let me see. That she did for just cross stitch. Yeah, Priscilla Blaine. So uh, uh, this one, and I don't know which one of them I'm doing. There's two versions. I don't recall which one I'm doing. Let me see. Oh my God, my hands are freezing. I don't know which one I'm doing. I don't think I don't I don't think I have any of these ones. 
and um yeah so i'm doing one of them i don't know which one is i'm doing in a uh 14 count black ada that i purchased from the berkeley company and this is all i have one little snowflake and the roof so um it looks like I don't know. I don't know. It's just one. I gotta find the. I gotta see where am I in the pattern. But yeah, that's all I have. Little mind done made by me, and that's all I have. So that's that. Just give me one second. Just one second, guys, because I have to put a little heater, and I don't keep a plug. I guess care. So just bear with me one second while I turn this thing on. And because it's freezing in up here. The next one. So this is uh this is a head. Uh, my whip number 26 is Chitsu for Christmas. It's an ornament, so it's round. Um, I started it on December 2018. I don't have the exact date. It was for the 12 days of stitch mat. This is another one that I, I have restarted it a couple of times. So I don't know. I think I'm doing it now. Uh, I think I started it as... Um, let me see. I think I started it as half stitch. And then... I got lost and then I restarted a full full um thing. It's this adorable one. It's square here, but when you finish the thing, it's it's uh let me see if I have it here. Yeah, it's round. It's when you finish it, it's round. It's an ornament. And it's by Heaven on Earth Design, the artwork for Dana Dana Gersinger. I love her artwork. Most of my heads are by her. So yeah, so it's an ornament. So um, I restarted it again uh, as a full stitch. And that's all I have. I'm in this part right here, this orangey part. So that's all I have. And I'm using Pattern Keeper for this one. And I'm using um, SCX for it. I don't know why these ones are here, but there must be a reason why they're there, right? So that is that one, and I'm running out of space here for these things. So, this is going to be such a mess when I'm done. The next one that I have is uh, number 28. It's a bit corner. I started it on December 2018. Don't know exact date for the 12 days of stitch mat. It is an AliExpress kit. It comes with everything, including the filling, which is somewhere in my sewing um sewing drawers. So it's this cute little butterfly, and this is what I have done. Just one. One of the four. So yeah. It will come up sometime next year and see how much I invest to it. So that one is that one. Let's see where I could put this. Okay. I'm going to have to start throwing them around. I know my number 30. So this was what my number 28. So I don't know where 29 is. Somewhere. So this is my number 30. This is my Gypsy Queen. I started it on 310.20. And this is an AliExpress kit. Yes, Milavilia, I know. But when I started on 2018, I always said this in my videos because maybe there's somebody new that is not never watched my videos before. And um, I don't want them to think that all I do is AliExpress kit. I do all kind of stitch. But when I started on 2018, um, 
I love AliExpress. I buy a lot of things for AliExpress. So when I started cross stitching, I said, well, let me see what AliExpress has. And again, when I started, I didn't know who, what design, who was designing, who was, you know, brand name designer, all that stuff. I didn't know who the one. So I purchased over 40 kits in AliExpress of fancy ladies and other stuff. And then later, you know, if I kept learning about cross stitch, I find out that they were replicas of Miravilia. How they do it, I don't know. It's not my problem. I'm not stealing. I purchased those things. So I still gonna cross stitch those that I have. Um, and I do have a lot of Mila. I'm gonna do a stash dive sometime this year. And I have a lot of Miravilia now because I know, I know now. But back then I didn't know who was who. And I spent money on them. So I am gonna stitch them. So it comes with everything that you need. Um, it doesn't come with Krynic, but I bought this filament to use as Krynic for where I need to. And then it comes with all the beads. This is uh, her. This is a picture I got from the internet. This is the actual picture. I'm honest, I didn't know who Miravilia was when I started. I love Miravilia, I wanna do them all. And I have a, a quite, I have a lot, but I still have, I have some that I purchased in AliExpress. So I am beating as I'm going. This is the fabric that came in the, in the um, thing. So I have a good start on her. All that is beaded already. Can't wait. Can't wait for that to continue. All this right here, this space is supposed to be beaded. That would be when I pick up again, either finish her face or thing. She is my uh, my second um, focus piece of 2023. Um, there's some challenge and full full coverage fanatic, which I think I'm gonna pick her to do one of those challenge. Because I, that's one that I want to finish on twenty in 2023. Because I can't wait to have her hanging either in my room or in the living room. I don't know. The back is done by me. Um, bonus style. So that's that one. Um, the next one, this was done. Um, number 31 is Cross Stitch Nation. I started it on 32620. And this is a hard string sampley um, pattern. And all I have is this lady in the middle, not even her completely, half of her, I think. I'm using uh, 18 count Ada Antique White that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And this is all I have. Needle my um, Hobby Lobby, Needle Mind by Hobby Lobby, and that's all I have. And if I wouldn't know, I would have convert that green skirt, but that's a good start. I will not convert her now. But I did call for colors, and I'm using uh, my, my, um, I forgot. I'm using my um, my foot kit. So the next one that I'm that I did is number thirty two. This is an hour already, but I'm gonna push it to an hour and twenty five minutes and see what happens. So the next one is a Jardin Privé. It's called Marquis. Is my number 32. I started it on 32720. Um, this one right here. I did come I did a conversion on her. All that green is a pink, and it's my favorite pink, which is a 602, I think it is. Yeah, the 602. So all that green is gonna be pink. And um, I'm using a 60 cow 
ivory that I purchased a uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is all I have. I started in this corner right here. Not right there. And that's all I have. Chandelier is a charm that I had in my stash. And I thought it was perfect for the Marquise. Because, you know, they have all those chandeliers and stuff in those ballrooms. So, yeah. So, that's all I have. That's a good start. Hopefully, she'll come out. I think she's in my whip call. So, and um, also in the other challenge. So, we'll see. I am not... Uh, I might do another video showing what I have for Whipco, but it's the same Whipco that I have in the, in the channel. So if you want to see what Whipco's, I'm, what pieces I'm going to work in my Whipco, there's a Whip, Whipco 2022 video. I'm using the same exact um, board because I didn't get to use it like this year. So I kept it the same because all the pieces that are there are pieces that I really want to work on. So I kept it the same. So uh, I am going to link that at the end of the video in a, in a card. At the end of the video, it will have a card there. So I'll put it there and you could watch it. And it's the same with both of last, the plans of last year, of this year, 2022, that I didn't get to accomplish. Okay, my next one is number 33. It's Refraction of Paris. I started on 3-27-20. It is an in-circle um, pattern. I work out of copy. And it's this one right here. I can't wait to do this. I am doing monochromatic. And I'm instead of black, I am doing it with my favorite um floss 602 i use a lot of that thing because my decoration i love pink as you can see my decorations in my house is gray pink gray and pink like silver silver and pink and a dark gray because my couch are dark gray because i have i want i i wanted to have white couches but i had two dogs so um so that's why i convert a lot of my pieces to that 602 because it match my decoration so the fabric is, what is it? It is a 14 count Ada silver by Swagar that I got at Hobby Lobby. It looks blue, but it's not blue. It's supposed to be silver. That's how it, it shows. But it's supposed to be like a silver. But this is blue to me. I don't know. That's what it says. That's what it is. And I started on this corner right here. So that's where I'm at. If this is another one that is in my, in my, I think in my whip go. I'm not sure. So, but I can't wait to continue work this and see this forming. See, I'm looking at them and I get excited at them, you know. Hopefully this year, 2023, will be a better year crafty-wise for me. So that one is that is that one. The next one is uh this was a freebie. This one I started it. This is wrong because I started a whole bunch on 2019 and this is already jumping to 20. I don't know. We're just gonna continue. So number 34 is called Let's Stay Home. I started it on 43020 and this was one of the free patterns for the um stitching stitching be safe movement that it was for um for covid so this is the pattern this is a free uh, pattern I don't know if you still could find it on Instagram the fabric that I'm using is a 14 count vintage vintage blue that i purchased at hobby lobby and i like it because it have like the white modeling and that looks like sky like the sky to me so i like that and this is all i have which is one of the trees the tree i framed the house and then i had the, this so and i started the lady because the house is going to be the last one because that's a lot of stitching. So I'm moving. I moved. I finished this. I did the border of the house so I could get to her. 
and I'm gonna do her. I'm not doing the bird, and then the house, the filling of the house is the last thing I'm doing. Oh, I did the bird. Huh? I thought I was not doing the bird. I have a thing for birds. I don't like birds, so I try to keep take them out of my patterns. But apparently, I did the Mister here. So this has a good start. So I can't wait to work on it too. So that is that one. When I pause to do the other bit of this, I'm gonna put my this ones already where they belong so I don't make a mess. Okay, the next one is number 35. It's called Butterfly Girl, or that's how I called it. It's a AliExpress kit. It's a full coverage kit, which I love. And it's a printed, a printed, um, fa the fabric is printed. So that is that. I love that. I can't wait to have this done. I love it so much. All this blue is going to kill me to stitch it, but it's a printed fabric. So it's easy to work with. This is all that blue all beautiful colors so that is that and this one is a printed so it's a little hard to see where i'm at but this is it i love printed fabrics i use this so when i want to work i want to stitch but i don't want to pay attention and i don't want to count so i like to pull this out um for her all i have work is her face let me see you can see it it's it's just all i have done is just her face this part right here this part right here her face and her neck that's um this is not done for her skin her neck part of her hair no her hair is not done this right here and this right here i haven't done much on this one she is in my whip go so she'll come out this month or sometime this she's going to come out more than um the because even if it's on my whip go um it's still going to be in my rotation which i'll explain my rotation at the end of the video so so that is my number 35 my number hold on it's falling apart already so let me put this here so that's how it falls okay so my number uh, so mess my number 36 is called the Scandinavian Scandinavian houses. I started on 42120. It was a free pattern given when COVID-19. Um, it was a free pattern stitch along. I only had the first one. I didn't get the other parts, but they have a they have a Etsy an Etsy store. And they have this pattern, which I'm going to purchase so I could finish it because I love it. I like it like for summer decoration. So the only one we got was, I think, this house. We were supposed to get one. And once you finish this house, they will send you the other one like that. So they want to make sure you were stitching it. So I, I only got the first one and I never got the other ones. But they have the pattern in Etsy, so I'm going to purchase the fabric that i'm using is a 14 count ada in silver again which is still look blue but it says silver and that's all i have for the house the needle minder is a wood veneer that i had in my stash i'm a scrapbooker so i have a lot of things that i could convert into um wood veneer so that is that one so i am going to continue and i am going to purchase the pattern so i could finish it so that is that one. Um, the next one is another head. It is my pride and joy. Um, she's my number 37. She is called Four Gone. Uh, I started her on April 30th of 2020. She is my baby. 
and she is my mainly focus she is to be work every single day i want her done for 2023 this is my baby right here i i love her and i and this is the mini which i hope it will be good uh, i'm praying that it was uh, um i should have gone the mask color but it's a mini it's is a charter by heaven uh, l design the artwork is for marta darling and i love her so much so she is my prime and joy my focus first focus piece i can't wait to have her done um this is what i have so far i started when i started it um trying to see if i could take these um um things they're so hard for my hands okay there you go so when i started her i started her you know in the corner like everything but i got quickly got um tired of and bored of this so i have her in pattern keeping pattern keeper so i was able to jump directly to her head and pattern keeper so this is what I have. I love that you could start to see her forming. Um, the background is the last thing I'm gonna do. It's boring and I will get that later, but I'm gonna continue working on her daily. Um, so yeah, that is her. And she is my, there's a, there's a, there's a how you call it there's a challenge and for uh, um full coverage fanatic a small or big focus on the finish she's the one that is there which i gotta put the picture today and she's the one that is i'm focusing on a finish so that is my baby i can't wait to see her and my wall because the frame it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to frame her but the frame that I want for her is gonna be beautiful. Can't wait, can't wait. And got the perfect spot for her and my wall. I have a frame right there now, but it's gonna be removed because she's gonna go. She's gonna get the, the front row. You know, once you go into my house, that's the first thing you're gonna see, that beauty. So that is that. And we're gonna do a few more and then we're gonna pause for second part two. This is my number 38, it's called Now How Many. I started it on 5120 for Stitch Mania. It is a pattern for my big toe. And I love this pattern because, excuse me, it says it's not, it's not how many are finished, it's how many you start. I'm a serious starter, I wanna start it all and I will start it all and have them all as my whip and it's like i said it's not it's not how many you finish it's how many you start so i'm going to do this and i'm going to frame it and i'm going to put it on the wall right next to the cubicle where all my whips are and that's that i am doing it in a 14 count touch up pink by wilted that i purchased in one two three and I'm using um, my own colors for this. So this is, is it says finish, it's how, it's, it is how. So I am right here. And either go down or go up. Um, this is another focus finish this year. So we'll see how much is that. And um, the colors that I'm using are Victoria Motos. So I'm using the Berry Jumbo. This is a thing and I was using it wrong. Um, I didn't know that um, this this type of body grading um, things, you have to use two strands by by side, not uh, one and bend it and, and, two, and you know in half like I do my DNC. So that's why you don't see variation but the variegated there because i was using it wrong but i'm not going to restart that thing 
when I picked it up again, then I will use it how it's supposed to so I could see the, the variegating. And then this is for the flowers that goes around, which is Enchanted Garden, River Valley, and Jolly Shamrock, which is for the border and the flowers motif. So, yep, that is that. I can't wait to use that. I mean, to finish that one. That's a quick finish. I think if I work two days in it, it will be finished. So, it will be in my rotation maybe in February because I already did my rotation for January. The other one, it is uh, number 39. It is called The Key. It's a Barbara Anna design. It was a freebie that she gave during the pandemic. And I did it for Mania 2020. I started it for Mania 2020. And I am going to alter this. Um, this is um, the pattern. It doesn't require beads. But these parts of the dress, these lines... I am going in these diamonds. I am going to beat them. So she's going to be beaded. That's how I'm altering the thing. I'm using call for numbers. I mean, um, call for thread. Um, I'm using a 14 count Ada, uh, natural blue that I purchased when I purchased by the yard. And this is it. And this pass right here, this one's going to be beaded. I'm going to put some gold be beads there. So that is that. So next time I pick it, I want to finish her skirt and then do the beading. She is in my whip coat, I think. So she's going to be worked. But again, even if she's not, like uh, my rotation is, even if it's on whip coat, they're still going to be worked before they call. So that's at the end in plans. Um, the next one that I have is uh, another freebie from Tiny Modernist, I think it was. It's called Home Stitch Home. It's my number 40. I started it on 5320 for Mania. Uh, yeah, it is a Tiny Modernist. Um, this is bags that I received for scrapbooking supplies. And like, they're small enough that I could use for mini bags. This is the pattern. I using my own colors for it. I'm using and cotton and color. Um, no, this is a. I think it's a 18 count. The I subscribe to the Victoria Moto for the fabric of the month. I think a few months, and I used to get the small piece, the smallest one, because it was cheaper. I wasn't gonna try so. This is one of them. It's a beautiful yellow. So I'm doing it there. The needle minder is created by me. All I have now is the house. And well, it's not completely, but it's framed. And I started with one of the M. So it's right here. I started. This is the M. So I still got to do the windows and the door and the fences and all that. So that is that, and the color scheme that I'm using is Victoria Models and Color and Cutting. I'm using Bare Copper. I'm using Green Apple by Victoria Moto. I'm using Old Patriot by Victoria Moto. I'm using Spring Azalea. I have a couple of this one, I don't know why. And then I'm using Fleming Yellow. And then I put one of those thread. This is just a charm that I, a keychain, and I just convert it in a thread keeper. And it says, I love my dogs. So that is that. That is that. And we're gonna do one more. And then we're gonna stop for um, the next one. So this one is number 41. This is called Pandemic Sampler. It's not a pattern that is out there. I, the, I name it myself, so you can Google it and you won't find it. It's called the Pandemic Sampler. Well, there is a Pandemic Sampler by London that it was released also for, uh, for Pandemic. But this one I named it before um, I did so. This is a compilation of 
little patterns from the pandemic um be well and stitch hashtag be well and stitch so it's a recopilation or little minis um that i put in a big fabric and i use a tiny modernist butter that is free on the website it was for a stitch alone that i was going to do words to live by but then i decided not to do the stitch alone but i had started the the frame because i was going to do it but then i don't like mystery because then if at the end it's something i don't like it's like a waste of money a waste of my time and stuff like that so i was gonna do and it was like 40 dollars the thing so what i was gonna do after i would say well once all the quotes come out if i like them i do it never done it i might but i had already started this so what i did is i found oh i had all the measurements for each thing because in the first time it tells you everything and then so i like this one i removed this one and i was able to fill one there then in each square there should be one and then i charted myself some words for here because i have pick stitch in my computer so i measure i got the measurement how much is that so i created a spot and pitched it and then i fill it out with words and it is charted for me so that's that so what i'm doing is i um these are free patterns so i am going to show um i'm sure you still find them somewhere and pinst and pinch and instagram so i had this one done planning this one is done already i had this one sorry the war was closed today or oh, the earth just just breathe choose happy i had this one well, i had a whole bunch that i am gonna do so i created a I already have the fabric, so it's a black Ada 14 count, which is already still with the thing, so I could put it in my scrub roll. So I started, all I have is two patterns done. I'm still going to finish it, and I'm still going to be dated 2020. I want to keep it as some, you know, remembering what we went through in 2020. So I finished the first one. It says, Don't panic and uh i'm doing the like the i'm highlighting one word and i'm stitching that one with four strength so it could be book and you could see that is is 3d so i finished that one i finished this one and i haven't started no more it's a big fabric it's going to be humongous when it finish i don't know what i'm going to do with it i still going to finish it even if i finish it on 2030 and it's still going to be dated 2020 because i want to keep those and then maybe if i i would never going to frame this or, or nothing but i'll keep it as a you know a, so what happened back in 2020 and how the uh cross stitch community came together and you know there was free free patterns there were free ship um stitch alones and to keep us busy and you know that so that is that so with this one i am going to stop this video here i'm going to clean the uh, the ones that i have and then i'll come back with part two stay tuned